Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upcycle your rubbish. So starting with this wooden wine box, this is one I did previously and um, it's larger than the one I'll be doing in this video but I did this in like bright pinks and oranges, you would have seen this in a previous video. But this time I thought I would show you how to do something completely different with this just to show how versatile a product like this could be. So for this, I have primed my piece. I prepped it entirely, so I cleaned it, sanded it, and primed it. You can check out my priming video for more information on that. But here I'm going in with my semi-smooth roller and I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint in Azure and the dark blue is Liberty Blue. It wasn't the best idea to work outside because this paint dries really fast anyway. And when you're doing blending like this, it's best to do it while the paint is still really wet. I'm just doing a random thing I'm not doing like an ombre all over and I'm not trying to get it completely perfect or anything like that it's a bit rustic looking I think that's what you say when it's a hot mess <laughs> but no so here I am going in with um, another layer of these colors it was a very hot day and it was drying very quickly so I have a little bit of water in a bowl there and if I was struggling I just add a little bit of water Next I'm going to add some masking tape in some diagonal stripes all over um, in different directions and I'm using a piece of tape as a spacer here. I'm using Indasa Delicate Tape here and I'm going to be painting over this with the same colours that are underneath which seems mad but um, I knew what I was doing, okay? I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Um, I'm doing the same colours underneath but with like a gradient as well except inverted so wherever's light will be dark and wherever's dark will be light. Rubbing down all the masking tape so that it doesn't leak underneath but of course it leaked underneath because I broke all of my rules when doing this and it's a super um, like uneven surface and I also went in with a wet like I added water to my paintbrush to do the blending and I knew I shouldn't have done that as soon as I did it I was like oh my god why have I done that but anyway it caused loads of bleeding you'll see it here and um, I think this is the worst side so you can see on the top that it's bled loads it's also like um, residue coming off of this masking tape and I do still really like it for wooden surfaces, but I probably wouldn't use it on painted surfaces again. But loads of the sticky residue, the glue, came off onto the piece. It did come off, but I would just be worried that it wouldn't come off sometime. You can see these two sides didn't work out the best. It's not exactly a satisfying tape porn. You can look at that like, that is atrocious. <laughs> I'll have to take that line off of my website where it says perfectionist to sharp lines and geometric designs. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I just didn't follow my own rules really. I was tired, leave me be. <laughs> but yeah, um, you can see the design better on this side and you can see what I was going for. Sort of futuristic. I think it looks really cool actually. Um, I just like the depth of the pattern, I guess. This side works out well as well. And it's good too because I like this weird chevron design I've done. Here I am modeling my box. Oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> Here I am modeling this storage box. How about that? Um, I'm showing you I think I'm only showing you the best angle. So here's the my favorite front and there's the inside as well, all splattered and nice. And um, I think that turned out really well. Okay, here's here's a look at the bad sides. <gasps> oh god, you have to laugh. 
Um, and here's the, <laughs> the back. Um, yeah, like not much to say about those bleeds. Pretty ugly if you ask me. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in and touch these up with a little paintbrush or I'm gonna try anyway. Because like, because all the colors have blended, I'm not sure I'll be able to do it. But anyway, that's the end of that upcycle. So next I'll be showing you how I turn this Greek style yogurt tub into a flower pot. So here it is here, painted in all these lovely colorful shades. So first up I used a primer suitable for plastic, I'm using Otex Aqua, it's water based so it's really handy and I'm just using it on my Pam Pro Zebra brush. So this was it after it had been primed and then I let that dry overnight and then I started painting my shapes on. So I didn't draw any of this out, I just did sort of free form and I'm doing these little weird teardrop shape type things and I'm doing it with a small paintbrush first and then going in with a big paintbrush. I think I have to do two coats on each of these colors, so I'm just sort of laying them down first um, and it doesn't really matter if there's any mistakes or anything like that because all the shapes will be against one another. Sorry, I have my hair in a towel in this, so <laughs> it gets in the way a bit. But anyway, so you can see me painting really close to each shape um, with all these different colors. These are all fusion colors, so it's Tuscan Orange, Little Star, Curiously Pink and Azure. Azure? I don't know, you know what I mean. Anyway, so I'm painting all these colors on. And this is the end result. I had to do some touching up where my brush just wasn't really working. But ultimately it was pretty simple DIY. So I hope you liked this video guys and I hope you'll join me next week. As always, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video and hit that like button. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.